everyone, it's Kerry back with you today. About a month ago, I shared a project that I had uh, created, which was the Journal Makers Handy Box. And I had a lot of people that were asking for a DIY version or a tutorial so that they could create their own. So my sister and I have got together and we've created this digital kit which will allow you to make a journal makers handy box similar to the one that I originally created. Now I have a small uh, selection of the pages from the kit in front of me here. The kit is actually 78 pages and in the kit you get uh, two different colours to choose from. So these all come together, a slightly darker one and the lighter one and you just choose whichever one suits you better for your project. So um, in the kit you get various sized labels. So there's large labels like these ones and then smaller labels like this. Now all of the information in regards to the words um, that are on each of the labels and the envelopes and matchboxes will be detailed in the listing and you can find a link to the listing in my shop in the description box below. You will also get a blank sheet in both sizes, so in this larger size and in the smaller tags and also the envelope and matchbox will come with a version that just has um, it has all the decoration but it doesn't have any text on it and the same with the matchbox. And the final thing in the kit will be a sheet of Journal Makers Handy Box labels or nameplates and they come in three different sizes so you can pick which one best suits your project there. So let's get into the tutorial. So I've printed out here one of the envelopes and one of the matchboxes and I'll show you how to put those together. So the envelope is pretty self-explanatory. You just need to cut around the edge of your envelope and once you've done that you'll end up with something that looks more like this. Now you can use a scoreboard um, to score the edges of your envelope if you prefer but what I've got here is just a piece of um, foam and a metal ruler and I prefer this I just find it's easier to line up than the scoreboard for this particular job. Now I've just printed this out on normal copy weight a uh, copy paper for the envelope so I don't want to press too hard because I will actually go straight through the paper so I'm just going to line up my ruler along the edge of my tab line here. You can see there's a line here so it's very easy to, lock, to line it up and then taking my uh, scoring tool here I'm just going to gently run it down the edge and that will give me enough of a score line there. I'm going to do the same on the other side just lining it up and a light score and then I'm going to score along these two lines as well. Now I've printed my envelope on just plain white copy paper so I'm going to turn it over and on the back of this flap area here I'm just going to use my ink to add a little bit of colour because when I've assembled the envelope you'll be able to see that back flap and also just inside the envelope so I'm just adding a little tiny bit of colour there. If you printed it out on tea dyed paper you wouldn't necessarily need to do that if you didn't want to. So now I just need to basically fold my envelope along the score lines and I'm folding them in towards the white area or onto the back of the envelope. Now once I've, scored, once I've folded up my score lines I can just double check and make sure that everything meets where it's supposed to before I glue everything down, make any adjustments then if I want to. So I'm just going to use a little bit of glue on the tabs and I don't want to put too much on because I don't want it to ooze out into my envelope so I'm just going to wipe some of that off and then pop the rest over here on this other flap. And then I'm just going to close up the envelope. Just 
and then allow that to dry. Now I've got a tiny little edge here so I can go in with my scissors and just carefully take that little extra piece off. And then just go along with a little bit of ink. So that's my first envelope ready there. So I'm going to cut out my matchbox now and I'm going to use a craft knife and a metal ruler. And I'm just going to run the um, craft knife just inside the edge of the coloured section of the matchbox. Now when I cut out the matchbox, I'm going to cut just inside the black line so that the black line doesn't show when I finish cutting everything out. Once I've got, got my matchbox to this stage, I'm going to cut the rest of it with a pair of scissors. Once you've cut out your matchbox base, make sure you haven't cut any of these white flaps off. These will give us a little bit more stability when we're building our box. I've printed this out on 160 GSM paper just to make my box a little bit more sturdy. So next we're going to score the lines. And you want to score across the edge of these white flaps and along the edge of the base of what will be the box. So you're going to do two score lines on each side of the matchbox. Once you've scored everything, turn the matchbox over and fold everything inwards. Then, on the two longest white flaps, you want to fold those back out again just for now. Turn your matchbox over. We're going to work on the skinny end first. So these two little flaps need to tuck inside this white flap here. So I'm going to pull those down and then I'm going to fold the sides up slightly. So my matchbox is starting to look more like a box. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on both of these flaps here. Then take this end flap and bend it up and you can use the sides of the box to sort of give it a bit of stability whilst you press that up towards those two smaller flaps. Then run a little bit of glue along this edge and stick that on top of those two smaller flaps. So you'll need to hold that down for a couple of seconds so that the glue adheres. But once that glue adheres you can see that we're starting to actually get a matchbox shape there. So we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to tuck these two little flaps in, a little bit of glue, fold up 
fold the end up a little bit more glue and then fold that inside and press down so now our box is almost complete so to finish off we're going to fold these flaps back inside but you might need to just encourage them to go the right way before you put the glue on run a little bead of glue down each side pop the flap over and stick it back inside the box there and press down until it's adhered now if your corners aren't cut perfectly you might want to use a little flat bladed tool just to press down on those edges and reinforce the corners of your box Another little bit of glue on this side. And there we have our little matchbox. And I'll just pop that aside to dry whilst we create the sleeve for our matchbox. So again, there's lines along here where you'll need to score. So using a metal ruler now you might want to run a little bit of ink along the inside if you haven't used tea dyed paper and you're not really going to see it so it doesn't matter what it looks like just takes that very stark whiteness away so then I'll fold my matchbox along the creases that I've just made and then I'm just going to roughly hold it in my fingers make sure my matchbox is fitting and then Using this flap here, which we've cut the edge, cut the corners off, I'll just put a small bead of glue along here. A little bit too much, so I'll just wipe some of that off. And then I'm just going to stick that down. and reinforce my score now once that's glued down I can I can fold it back the other way and I've got a little bit of extra paper that I can see along the edge here so I'm just going to snip that off with my scissors and now I have a little matchbox sleeve that my little matchbox fits perfectly inside so once you've created your envelopes and matchboxes, you'll need a box or a tray of some sort to put them in to create your Journal Makers Handy Box. So you can use any sort of box or tray. I've used one like this before, which was um, an old jewellery box. You could use a chocolate box because they have similar dimensions. You could even use something like this is just the base of like a regular uh, tissue box that's just been cut down and you could use something like that um, and then just pop your match boxes in you could cover the match box with uh, sorry you could cover the tissue box with pretty paper or fabric um, and then that would work as well as a base for your uh, journal makers handy box goodies and then you could just slide it into a cellophane bag or tie a ribbon around it something like that so for my journal makers handy box today i've chosen this little box which is like a um it's almost like a match box it's got a drawer on the inside and i'm just going to fill that up now with some goodies for my journal makers handy box
you go. I hope you found that tutorial easy enough to follow along. They are pretty easy to create and you can fill them with just about anything that you like. They make a great gift to give to someone or if you're doing a craft market or something like that they'd be a fun unique addition to have there. I will actually be giving this one away so if you'd like to be in the draw for the giveaway please just leave a comment below. I'll leave all the information in the description box below and I'll draw the winner in a week. If you're inspired to create your own journal makers handy box and would like to purchase the digital kit the link for the kit will be in the description box below as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.